Once upon a time, in a certain place, there was an old fox with nine tails named Furujitsun. The old fox began to suspect that his wife was worried about something, so he decided to test her. He curled up under a low table, completely still, pretending to be dead like a mouse that had been killed. The fox's wife, Okusama Gitsun, went to her room and locked herself in. The fox's maid, a cat named Ojusun Niko, sat on the kitchen stove, simmering a stew. Soon, news spread that the old fox had died, and many people came to ask for the fox's wife's hand in marriage. The maid heard someone knocking on the door and went to see. It was a young fox who asked, What are you doing, Miss Cat? Are you sleeping or awake? The cat replied, I'm not sleeping, I'm awake. Do you want to know what I'm doing? I'm boiling fresh beer and adding butter to it. Would you like to be my guest? No, thank you, Miss Cat, the fox replied. How is Okusama doing? The maid answered, Okusama is crying in her room. Her beautiful eyes are as red as crimson silk. She is mourning the loss of her beloved fox. Please tell Okusama that a young fox has come and wishes to marry her, the fox said. Understood, your highness, the maid replied. The cat went to the door and returned the fox who wanted to be the groom. Shortly after, someone else knocked on the door. It was another fox who wanted Okusama to be his wife. This fox had two tails, but his appearance was similar to the previous one. Then, more foxes came one by one, and each had one more tail than the previous one. However, they were all rejected. Only the last one who came, a fox with nine tails just like the old fox, was accepted by the widow with great joy. She said to the cat, Open the gate and open the door. Show the bridegroom, the fox of my beloved old fox. But when it was time for the wedding ceremony, the old fox suddenly started moving under the low table. He slapped the servants who were preparing the feast and chased them out of the house along with Okusama. Second story. After the death of the old fox, a wolf came and knocked on the door, asking for Okusama's hand in marriage. The cat, who was serving as the maid, opened the door. The wolf greeted the cat and said, Hello, Lady Cat of Kelewitz. Why are you alone? What kind of feast are you preparing? The cat replied, I'm grinding the finest wheat bread into flour and putting it in the oven. Would you like to be my guest? Thank you, Lady Cat, the wolf replied. Is Okusama Gitsun not at home? The cat replied, Okusama Gitsun is in her room upstairs, crying and lamenting her misfortune. She doesn't know what to do since her beloved fox has passed away. The wolf said, If Okusama Gitsun wants another husband, tell her to come down here. The cat went upstairs, through the familiar corridor, and reached the long hallway. She knocked on the door with five golden rings. Fox Okusama, are you there? If you want another husband, come down here. Okusama Gitsun asked, is that person wearing red pants? Does he have a sharp mouth? No, the cat replied. In that case, he is not suitable for me, Okusama said. After the cat sent away the wolf, one after another, animals such as dogs, deer, rabbits, bears, and lions came, but none of them possessed the unique qualities that the old fox had. Each time, the cat had to send them back. Finally, a young fox arrived. Okusama asked, Is that person wearing red pants? Does he have a sharp mouth? Yes, exactly, the cat replied. Okusama said, Then bring him up. The maid was instructed to prepare for the wedding ceremony. Miss Cat, clean the room. Throw the old fox out the window. I used to bring him fat mice as a treat. 
but he always ate them all by himself and never gave me any. The wedding ceremony between the young fox and Okusama was held, and they danced happily. If they hadn't stopped, they would still be dancing to this day.